Have you ever wondered why the United States went to Iraq in 1990? I asked myself this very question. Operation Desert Storm, also known as the Gulf War, took place between Iraq and Kuwait. The reason this war began was because of oil and the pay zone it was on. Saddam Hussein, the Iraqi president at the time, accused neighboring nation of Kuwait of siphoning crude oil from the oil fields located along their common border. He also accused them of conspiring to keep oil prices low in an effort to pander Western oil buying nations. The senior vice president of OGE Drilling Incorporated states, That field crosses the border in North Kuwait, Iraqis were drilling on one side and Kuwait on the other side. When word of this oil disagreement got out, Egypt initiated negotiations between Iraq and Kuwait in an effort to avoid intervention by the United States. Saddam Hussein broke off any possible negotiations after only two hours. Hussein thought that the neighboring countries would not ask for outside help, but Saudi Arabia and Kuwait asked the United States and NATO for support. Who was involved in this war, you ask? Well, this operation was mainly led by President George H. W. Bush along with 39 other countries, which varied from Canada to Greece. These forces all worked together to defeat the other important factor to this operation, being Saddam Hussein and the Iraqis. You may be asking yourself what happened during Operation Desert Storm. Let's take a look. So, before going into Iraq to help defend Kuwait, George H.W. Bush had said, I am convinced not only that we will prevail, but that out of the horror of combat will come the recognition that no nation stand against the world united. No nation will be permitted to brutally assault its neighbor. The United States was very quick on the response to Kuwait's need for backup. This is their first cavalry division. Once the United States had gotten involved, Commander Schwarzkopf stated, You should never forget that the airplanes don't fly, the tanks don't run, the ships don't sail, the missiles don't fire unless the sons and daughters of America make them do it. The Security Council authorized the use of unnecessary means of force against Iraq, the objective of which was to win the war in the air and minimize combat on the ground. Operation Desert Storm benefited from the latest military technology, including stealth bombers, cruise missiles, and infrared night bombing equipment. In mid-February, the coalition forces had shifted the focus of their air attacks toward Iraqi ground forces in Kuwait and southern Iraq. And now for some real footage of ground war. Ten hours into the ground war, at 2.30 p.m., British and American troops began a massive artillery barrage onto the Iraqi positions in front of them. One of their key weapons was the multiple launch rocket system. Upon arriving at Kuwait, the United States was capturing Iraqi military with the help of others that were part of the coalition. Over the next four days, coalition forces encircled and defeated the Iraqis, liberating Kuwait. President Bush declared a ceasefire on February 28, 1991, ending the Gulf War. Hussein subsequently accepted peace terms that Iraq would recognize Kuwait's sovereignty and get rid of all its weapons of mass destruction. What were the results of Operation Desert Storm, you ask? Well, let's see. All of the forces and countries that were involved in the coalition had received victory. Iraq was expelled from Kuwait, but Iraqi and Kuwaiti infrastructure was destroyed. During Operation Death Storm, 292 coalition participants were killed and 776 were wounded. And now, for a quick little review, let's get started! The two main reasons this war occurred was because of the oil and the pays when it landed on, along with accusing Kuwait of siphoning crude oil. Three main keys were involved in this war, the first being George Bush, the second being the 39 countries that part of the coalition, and the third being Iraqi forces. The two main results of this war was a coalition slash Kuwaiti victory, along with the 292 coalition men killed. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped.